There are groups of people in a community that will often look at someone, whether or not they're really acquainted or not, and call them a failure. But in no way is an individual person a failure to God. So the funny thing is that we're told not to judge, and yet people make judgments every day that can catch them in federal hell and put them away. And the truth is, when they humiliate someone, when they harm someone, when they lie to someone, they are actually putting themselves in front of God. That's when he most definitely comes in and say, what the hell are you doing? I have a many kin and you're not gonna take what's important to me away. You see, what's important to God is family dynamics and human relationships. There are certainly schools of thought that says you put everyone away or push everyone away. And that's just not logical. You see, human beings are meant to be with one another. And there are certain human beings that God has paired since the beginning of time who are supposed to be with one another. But there's always a man out there who's willing to taint a woman's thinking about what she should and shouldn't do, what she could do, or what she might do. And I guarantee that if you've had a thought of doing philanthropy, then someone in your life tainted you. It wasn't about you didn't have enough money or time because that's not the only thing that people who are ill in their minds are thinking. You see, a true person that's homeless might live in a home, but that doesn't mean the home won't be pulled or yanked out from underneath them. You see, it's only a personal opportunity if you are given one, but you don't have the right to commandeer anyone. You also don't have the right to play in someone's property, no matter where it's posted, no matter where it's set down, no matter where it's left, no matter where it can be found. You failed God when you started to play in a man's life. And that's what he's telling you every day and every night of your life.